back. We're here with Cameron Kirk from the Humane Society, and she is here with Betsy, right? Yes. She's one year old. Uh, about one, one to two, some, somewhere in that range. She's still very young and has a ton of energy, um, but she does love to be a lap dog as well. I was sitting out in the green room and she just wanted nothing more than to be in my lap. Oh, well, she seems very calm. You know, tell me, you know, where did you rescue her from? So she is uh, was a rescue um, from one of our partner shelters mm -hmm. in Texas um, as part of our Shelter Ally program. Um, but Betsy was one that was heartworm positive, and so we decided to keep her here with us. Um, explain a little bit about that. What what does that mean? Yeah, so heartworms, it's transmitted through mosquitoes. It is something that is preventable. Um, so you can put your dog on heartworm prevention to prevent them from getting heartworms. So after this, um, does she still have that or how? Does it, um, once it's once it's treated, it's treated and gone. So it's not anything that she's going to be stuck with for the rest of her life. She just needs an awesome family to help Aww. get her through this little rough Some patch. Some love, right? Yes. <laughs> A new home. Um, and tell us, you know, it is getting hotter outside. Um, so are you seeing an increase of animals at over yeah, there? Or? The warmer it gets, the more puppies and kittens that we see just because everybody's out and getting active. And so uh, we are asking for donations of wet dog food um, and kitten food and pedigree dog food as well. And where can they bring this to? Um, all donations can be dropped off at our adoption center at 60th and Sheridan and Betsy and all of her friends will be there waiting. All right. Well, thank you so much for being with us, Cameron. Uh, well, you have more information there. To adopt an animal from the Humane Society of Tulsa, including Betsy here, you can always call 918-495-DOGS or log on to TulsaPets.com.